Question 11 says a metal ring of mass m and radius r is placed on a smooth horizontal table and is set rotating about its own axis in such a way that each part of the ring moves with a speed v. The tension in this string has to be calculated. The student, let us draw a diagram to understand this question. There is a ring. Now let us assume a small angular cross section of the ring such that the total angle is 2 theta so that each half angle will be theta. Let the tension will be t and t here. Now dear students, the horizontal component of the tension that is towards the center will be 2t sin theta net and this will be equal to the centripetal force required for the rotation or the revolution of the small part of the ring that is having a mass dm. Now dm can be replaced by m by 2 pi r into 2 theta into r from the unitary method multiplying by v square by r. So this r and r will get cancelled. 2 and 2 will get cancelled and on solving we get a value of t to be equal to mv square by 2 pi r and hence for this question the correct answer dear student is option number 1. Now moving on to the question number 12. In question 12 a block of mass 5 kg is slipping down a rough inclined wedge of mass 15 kg kept at rest on a horizontal table with constant velocity as shown in the figure. The force by the wedge on the table will be. The student, if we consider the block and the wedge as a single system, there will be a total gravitational force downwards that will be capital M plus small m into g and there will be a normal force by the table on the wedge. Now, since the whole system is in equilibrium, that is the center of mass has no acceleration, so n will be equal to capital M plus small m into g. So, this will be equal to 5 plus 15 into g giving us a value of 200 Newton and hence for this question the correct answer should be option number 2. Now moving on to the question number 13. Question 13 says the magnitude of work done by a force. So four options are given to us. The student for this question the correct answer is option number 1. As the work done is defined as force dot displacement and we know that the displacement is a frame of reference dependent quantity. So the work done also depends on the frame of reference. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option number 1. Now moving on to the question number 14. In question 14, a particle moving in xy plane undergoes a displacement. So the displacement d vector is given that is 3 i cap plus 2 j cap meter. And the force is also given. The force is 5 i cap minus 3 j cap newton. The work done has to be calculated. The work done will be equal to the dot product of force and displacement. This will be equal to 5 i cap minus 3 j cap dot 3 i cap plus 2 j cap. This will be equal to 15 minus 6 that is 9 joules. And hence for this question the correct answer is option number 4. Now let us proceed to the question number 15. In this question, a cord is used to lower vertically a block of mass m through a distance d at a constant downward acceleration of g by 8. The work done by the cord on the block is. The student, let this be the block and let this be the cord. Let the tension in the cord be t. It is given that the acceleration of the block is g by 8 downwards. Now, on the block, there will be downward gravitational pull mg as well. From the second law of motion, we can write down that mg minus t will be equal to m into its acceleration that is g by 8, meaning that t will be equal to 7 mg by 8. Now the work done will be equal to the dot product of displacement and tension that will be 7 mg by 8 into displacement d and a negative sign as the tension and displacement are in opposite direction, meaning that our answer should be minus 7 mg d by 8. And as we see the options, the correct answer, dear student, should be option number 4.